It looks like you can build like Fortnite, but also do zombies like Call of Duty. But there also seems to be some monetization tied with Forge and a brand new game mode we've never seen before has been recently leaked out. But if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the rest of the video to understand all the details. So you can see the crazy nodes that are tied to this ability right here, but essentially what this player has created is the ability to utilize equipment for a way to build walls within Halo. So then you can essentially play Fortnite if you want to in Halo Infinite's Forge. Again, this is why Halo Infinite's Forge has been pulled by me and by I've seen from Twitter and people who've been had early access to this, that this is gonna be the craziest version of Forge we've ever had within a Halo game, which is crazy to think about. It's that much better than Halo 5, but they really outdid themselves at 343 when it comes to playing around with Forge and doing something like this. With the nodes and be able to utilize different parts of the sandbox and equipment within Halo Infinite is pretty insane. Over here, Sir Asia showcases how you create a buy station just like you do in Call of Duty for zombies and then do that in Halo, which is pretty crazy to think about. So basically, he's basically tied it away to where you shoot a grunt, you're apparently you earn points, you're able to unlock a new weapon within the buy station kind of stuff. So this is the kind of stuff that you're able to do in Halo Infinite's Forge. It's again, like pretty insane, like the stuff you're gonna be able to do, man. Well, a key aspect of Zombies from Call of Duty is building up structures, and it seems like you'll be able to do that as well with proper scripting within Halo Infinite's Forge. Again, leading to a whole new type of mechanic that's available for the infection game mode. If they can find a way for zombies to be able to hack and slash away at barriers, and then have players have the ability to build them back up in some way, that would completely revolutionize how you play infection within Halo, and that would be super fun. You know, that's why we haven't had infection with Halo Infinite, especially at launch, because infections heavily tied to the Forge experience. Uh, all throughout Halo 5, there were all Forge maps, and generally you want to try to make maps that, you know, are tailored to the infection experience and not have it just be like playing, you know, zombies, but this time on Bazaar. It doesn't really play out that well. So one thing that's been really concerning a lot of people when it comes to Forge and with Halo Infinite being free to play is there going to be monetization tied to Forge? From everything that we've seen, no. But this image that's been going around Twitter today from Elite Falcon, who's been doing a lot of Forge content on his YouTube channel, that replied to this on Discord where he said, so I heard there are some possibilities that you can monetize your Forge creations. Elite Falcon says, there will be a feature like this, yes, but I won't be using it. So. This makes me think there might be someone if you wanted to cut corners and didn't want to buy into uh, you know, buy some kind of freebie prefab or something like that, you can do that within Halo Infinite's Forge or you can just create it yourself. But if you want to cut the corner, maybe get some money to a creator who you know potentially spent a lot of time and effort putting this thing together, you can make, you know, throw a couple bucks their way. Which in that case, I'm actually kind of okay with that being in there because these Forge creators spend so much time and so much effort putting this stuff together for us just to jump on and play for free. That then made me get a little bit of kickback from like gratuity from the community. I totally expect to see that. I totally would appreciate actually to see that kind of stuff happen. It's kind of like Twitch streamers, right? Or like you appreciate them being online, providing you some service online throw a couple bucks their way just to kind of show that you support their content. I believe this kind of ties into what Soraya showcased on the file share that's going to be coming with Halo Infinite's Forge mode, which is going to be actually improved as well, is that there's going to be a copyright protection you can put on your Forge creation so that one, people just can't steal your content, and two, this might allow some kind of way to if you copyright your material, to if people want to utilize it, they have to maybe drop a couple bucks. Either you put that value down yourself or just kind of say, hey, if you want to use it, you know, donate a penny or more to be able to use it. Another thing about Halo Infinite's file share is that it will allow you to select friends from your friends list that have different permissions on your creation as well. You can see right here that you have the addition of having them just be a viewer so they can view your content and editor so they can change it. They can be a co-creator to give them some proper credit or an admin where maybe the creator just has somebody kind of like overlooking all their material and stuff like that. Currently right now within the early access of Forge is that you can actually put any kind of image you want as your thumbnail for your Forge creation. Uh, apparently with this early access build, there is no like moderation with this. So hopefully there's something once, you know, Forge actually gets implemented into season three. There are various tags you can put on to your map as well. I believe we had this in Halo 5, just so it'll make it a little bit easier for people to search content that they want to find. 
You can also save your versions of maps as well. So you can have like the most up-to-date version, but if you want to go back and change something, but it's really good, like in say like the version 15, you can go back and change that version and maybe forget the rest of the other changes that you did. Really great feature for Forge users. Players will also have the ability to rate content so they can see like out of five stars, which ones are the good ones. You can report it ones in case like someone was stolen, stealing something or maybe it was just poorly done or maybe it even has a virus, if it's even possible. Last, we have to talk about the new mode that's most likely going to be coming within season three that was found. That was a data mine file that was found, guys, and that is the new VIP variant called Mogul. There are three different variations of Mogul. There's Payout, Bounty, and Classic. I'm assuming Classic being like your traditional VIP mode. But the way you become the VIP in Mogul is very different, where it's a 4v4 game mode, but both sides spawn with a weapon pad that's either a BR-75 Breacher from the campaign, which, or a DMR that's going to be coming in most likely with Season 3, or a sniper rifle depending on the variant of the weapon pad right there. And once you pick up that weapon, you become the VIP. Now I'm assuming with modes like Bounty and Payout when it comes to Mogul, probably something tied to if the VIP gets kills, they're probably worth more than when they started out. So then like if the VIP gets zero kills and they get killed, you can probably get one point for your team. But if the VIP on their team got like five kills and then you kill them, you probably got, I don't know, five points or something like that. They kind of add a little bit of Payout or Bounty to that VIP player. Again, this is all speculation, but it sounds very interesting as well. Season 3 looks to be a great season for Halo Infinite, guys. I think it started as something really special for this game. But you know what else is really special? The content here on the screen that you might have missed or have just been out of loop for the last few days or so. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.